And so this week we need to do a marketplace. I'm starting out with this resin uh, stall, you know, where you put your market goods. And I don't have any more resin, so I'm gonna use some coffee stirs to duplicate it. And these little square posts, which are basswood that you can get at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. First thing first though, I gotta get rid of that old glue covered blade and slide in a new fresh blade. Cause I'm gonna be doing some cutting. But first, I'm gonna be doing some measuring. Starting off, I measure the post and they come in at one and three quarter inches, I think. Let me check. Yep, one and three quarter inches. I need five of these because the stall has five posts. As you'll see there, one, two, three, four, five. I was just checking the size there to make sure, you know, measure twice, cut once. And now I use my new sharp blade to cut out five post. Last one. And there we go, five post. Next, I'm gonna measure out the sides and they come in at two inches. Two inches for three of the sides and then there's a short side that comes in at one and one quarter inch, give or take. So now I'm just gonna cut the coffee stirs off. They're a little rounded on the edge, so I cut the rounded edge off and then I measure. And then I cut with my wife's scissors. And then I'm gonna use some tight bond. White glue. One of my kids used to call this mayonnaise glue back in kindergarten. <laughs> mayonnaise glue cracks me up. I'm making these little glue sandwiches and three boards will fit on one side of the stall. Perfectly, actually. Look at that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of them out for the three long sides and then I'll need to cut out the uh, short side at the end here. More glue more mayonnaise glue, <laughs> and then... And then what we're gonna do is, um, after I got those done, I decided to get this little wire brush and put a little bit more texture on there, wood grain texture. Then what I'm gonna do is glue it to the post. But then I thought, well, maybe I'll glue them together first. So that's what I did. Clean up the glue with my fingers. This stuff got messy actually, pretty quickly. And then I took a break to eat a sandwich. And we're back. Finishing up the gluing the planks together. Cleaning up the glue through my finger. And I kept, for whatever reason, I kept pressing them really hard and making them come apart. So I had to keep gluing them. And then once I got them done and just left them alone and let them dry, everything was fine. They held, they held together pretty well. Here's the little short side. I probably could have made this side just a little bit smaller. Probably would have been fine at an inch. And here I'm gluing the post on. And I did this in sections first. So I did this, this is like the front section, I guess. And then I did another section and just glued one post on because the other corner post is gonna be attaching to that, uh, that first piece I did. And I wasn't paying attention. So you'll see I got the post on the same sides there. Uh, it really needs to be on the opposite so side for the other edge side to go back and fix that. And there we go. You'll see too on the short side that I have the post on the wrong side, but I, I go back and fix that. It's pretty easy to take it apart with uh, a little pressure and some uh, an exacto knife. So with uh, all the pieces in there, the last piece is this last post that goes in this corner here. <laughs> it took me a couple tries to get that on there. 
and make sure it's squared up and then uh, let it dry. Now I'm going to come back and work on this shelf. Now with the shelf, um, it ended up being just a little tricky. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I think if I would have taken a little bit more time with it, it would have been better looking, but I was on a schedule. So the first board's pretty easy. Just cut it to length, glue it in on the uh, sides there, one side of the post. Now this is the one that was a little tricky. So I figured I'll notch it and then just slide it in place. Notch it. But these coffee stirrers, they're not what I would call durable and I was a little impatient. So here I am cutting through it and you'll see in a second here, I actually break the end piece. You might not catch it. There, right there. I keep working at it thinking I could salvage it, but then I was like, nah, I'm just gonna cut it off. And I cut it off long enough to fit on the inside there. And then I come back later and I'll put some end caps in on the other side. Create like a little L shape. I got it stuck when I was trying to size it up there. Little glue on the sides on the bottom there just press it into place clean up the glue get that last piece now that last shelf I was thinking I might need some supports but ended up holding really well I mean you might want to go in and put supports in but for me it seemed to hold up really well after it dried now after I'm done with that and I let it dry I, I'm gonna come back and put these top uh, support beams in that go from post to post You'll see a little bit on the resin piece. I, I keep pushing it up closer and closer to the top of the screen there. Bring it back. Come on, back in the center. There you go, buddy. Good job. I'm giving a little pressure to sort of bend it back out to more square shape there. I keep going around, putting up those uh, support beams on the sides and then the back there. And then once this part is done, then we're going to be ready to paint. Another piece there. Just measuring and sizing up as I go along. Yeah, it looks pretty close. Not bad. So now it's time for painting. I start off with a base coat of espresso brown. Um, you could use any dark brown, or really any color you want. I just ended up using a dark brown as the base coat. And then I decided I was going to give it a more weathered look with a dry brushing. I start the dry brushing out with this uh, golden brown. And then after the golden brown, I go back and I get... Um, and do a suede to give it a more weathered look. Went a little heavy there on that front with the dry brushing, but it turned out all right. Maybe a little bit more weathered on the front. And I make sure I get all over, even on the inside, because all of it's exposed to the weather, theoretically so. And there we go. An easy project. I'm going to crank out another seven of these. Actually, I've got two resin ones, so I'll probably just crank out another six. And they give me eight, and that would be a good-sized marketplace for the adventure. Anyway, um, that's it for this week. Tune in next week. We'll do something totally different. I think we're going to be doing a resin wagon. See how that works out. Anyway, have fun. Keep crafting. Tune in next week. Later. <laughs>